Hey, so I'm going to show you how to do assembly of the um, airflow and spar that we've already made. So I'm going to go and pull in these parts real quick. I'm just going to assembly actually. Um, I'll just take this guy. This guy. Okay, and test web. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with this actually. Make this floating. I'll fix this one. Okay, so these pieces here, these little notches, are actually going to fit right over these pieces. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start mating using that little uh, paper clip tool up there. And all you have to do is really just be clicking on faces and edges and vertices of the parts that you want to mate. So I want to make this top flip there. And I want to make yeah, that flush. Okay, and so that's the first half of this I beam. Um, let's go ahead and put our airfoil in here. Our our rib. Okay, and so our ribs are going to go in the slot here. Uh, you can go up here and go to rotate component to kind of kind of show yourself where this is going to be positioned. So if we have it facing up here, this back notch will be going in here. Okay, makes sense. So let's mate that face here. Let's mate this face. This inside wall here. Okay, and then what we need to we'll grab this line and made it down here. Awesome. And so that's uh, pretty much how the thing goes together. Um, a quick tool for uh, importing instead of going up here to insert components, if you already have one of the components in your window and you want another one, so let's say um, we want another rib in here. Hold down the control key and then click and hold and drag away and a uh, duplicate part will show up. And you're going to make this thing the same way that you did the last one just with this other notch over here. Okay, so I'm going to go do our control click and drag to insert our new part. So now this web is going to lock right up in there. Okay, so now our I-beam is taking more shape, double I-beam. And last but not least, we need another cap on the bottom. So control and drag, and there's your new part. And we will mate this one up in the same way. So the mating tool is obviously a really um, easy thing, as long as you can kind of visualize where your parts they connect up at. And then get back into ISO view so you guys can kind of see. And so this is a pretty good representation of what your wing will end up being like. I'll show you a uh, 
an assembly of something that I'm working on for my school. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have our land gear and payload and all this stuff. And um, I'll open up the center wing here. And you can see that I use the same technique. We have the fly beam going on here. And our airfoil is getting in these notches. So the same technique we're, we're using. And then I've cut out some uh, quarter inch squares for our stringers. And uh, that's pretty much as hard as it gets, as long as you guys kind of take the time to figure out how to measure and space everything out, um, the assembly part goes very quickly. So, yeah, uh, again, hope this helps. Um, SolidWorks also has great, great tutorials. Um, you go up into your help and SolidWorks tutorials. Um, you can just run through these things and it'll teach you all of the basics from making the drawings to parts to assemblies to even doing um, some analysis stuff. So anyway, so keep messing around with it. Hope these things helped. Um, go ahead and hit me any questions if you got them. All right.